Ahoy friends, welcome to building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a Chamberlain Racing Dory from John Gardner's The Dory Book, illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we'll be out in the shop. We're going to be working on installing the centerboard trunk. This will be part two of the centerboard trunk install videos where we cut the cleats. Okay, so here we've got the board set in the boat and we've marked the lines where the center board is going to be intersecting those bottom boards. So let's go ahead and just uh, cut them as best we can. And we'll do a great job of it. Jump to the other side. we're just keeping the saw as level as possible and making absolutely certain that we're cutting both cleats at the same time not one and then the other is the absolute correct way to cut a cleat and there we have it both cleats cut without any damage done to the bottom boards all right so now let's see if we're uh, able to get this center box Ouchie, ouchie. I guess I should probably have my knee pads in place, huh? Wow, look at that. Oh, almost like we measured it for it. Oh, all right, so. Excuse me. 
Next thing we're going to need to do, uh, next thing you guys are going to need to do when building your own Alpha Dory, have a look at the amount of gap here between the centerboard and the, um, I'm not going to call it the center, well, the, you know, the middle center line plank of the boat. And you can see the greatest gap is right here and here, um, about in the middle of the centerboard. Now the reason for that is because the bottom of the dory is rockered, curved, yet the uh, bottom of the centerboard box that we just built is... Uh, is more or less straight because this was built out of logs that we uh, milled out on the table saw. So what that means is the logs are straight and the bottom is beautifully curved. So somehow we need to make these straight logs curved like the bottom. And the best way to do that is just to so hopefully you won't have a big, too big of a gap. And since this is such a gracefully curved bottom, you'll notice that the gap is about half of a pencil. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less. So what we can do is we can take the pencil and strike a line just directly from the bottom um, onto the... Uh, onto the side of the board and this will uh, this will give us an accurate measurement as to how much of the board we need to cut off um, to get the correct curvature to get the board to match up with the curvature of the bottom So if it's more than half the pencil, another trick you can use is actually take a steel, lay it down beside the board, and then use the steel to run the pencil along. And that'll lift your pencil, the thickness of the steel, off the bottom. And just let you get a little bit more accuracy on the uh, on the line you're striking see now the line is actually on the on the box so we had a little bit more than a half a pencil gap here midships So with that line struck, now we can uh, take this board out and we'll decide how we want to cut it. If you were cutting a lot off, if you had a heavily rockered bottom, like say on Centennial or some such, you might want to get out either your, uh, either your um, circular saw or maybe use the band saw cut that. Uh, there's probably going to be a small enough amount to take off with this that we can probably just hit it with the um, with the belt sander and that'll uh, that'll rock the bottom for us. But uh, yeah I'll finish striking this line and then we'll uh, we'll see how it looks see, see what we need to take it off with. So uh, after taking a little bit closer look at it, guys, I did decide that um, 
It's probably best to go at it with the skill saw to start. Then we can go uh, a little bit uh, less aggressive with uh, the sander after the fact. there so from here we'll get out the uh, belt sander and see what sort of progress we make so before we spend a lot of time with the uh, belt sander it actually occurred to me it's probably best to test fit it because I'm suspicious that I may want to take off a bit more and I'll tell you why that is um, so you can see the height of the log down here. We don't want the height of this log to go below the height of the frame amidships where the um, where the box cuts through the frame. It's uh, not so much a uh, an issue on the uh, front frame, but uh, we just want to make sure that we stick. To the, uh, to the proper height back, back here, so, there we go, so let's check this out first thing, and then uh, if we're looking good, then we'll get the sander out, and we're still nice tight fit there, so that's a big plus. Um, yeah, it looks like we're still a little bit high at the back, and we're still a tiny bit above the frame, so we could take off a bit more. I think what we want to do is actually take off a little bit more up front here, and that'll let us get right down to the height of the um, the height of the bot the uh, curvature of the bottom uh, without lowering this a whole lot more yeah let's see i'm gonna need a offset though it's always a bit of an adventure leaning out on the edge of this boat because last thing i want to do is tip her off her tip her off the building bed would be uh, a bigger pencil and I've actually got one somewhere here it's one of those uh, kind of goofy looking uh, um, it's not a carpenter's pencil but it's like you know an oversized and I'm not sure where it is but, 
it's like a uh, like a party thing or, or a, yeah, not seeing it in the um, well, guess I'll just have to do with what I got. The other thing is, is I could get a another piece of wood to do the offset with. Uh, if I had a shorter piece of wood, and of course I've cleaned up the boat pretty well, so there's no scrap, little scraps of wood in here. Let me see if this pencil is any any bigger here. Nah, it's gonna be the same radius. Just do with what we got, I guess. Alright, so that's a, yeah, the new line we've struck. Oops, I didn't do the offset on the. Didn't do the offset on the first. First line up here. So there's our new cut line, and that should uh, that should do it for us. That should get us to the point where the entire uh, bottom is the entire uh, bottom edge of the box is contacting the curvature of the bottom. All right, let's cut that. Okay, so through the uh, magic of movie making, I just cut the cut that second line we drew. Oof. All right, now that's looking pretty good. Pretty good right about there so now we've got the uh, if you go back maybe four videos ago we were assembling five videos ago we were assembling the centerboard box so now we've got it pretty well fit it's tied up against the frame there we've got a decent uh, fit along the curvature of the bottom we didn't go below the uh, intersecting frames with the height of the log, which it's uh, that's really more for aesthetic reasons than anything else. We got a nice fit along the back edge of the box, and the uh, box is in the boat um, on the center line and parallel to the to the uh, planking and what will be the. Uh, the flow of the water so you know we, we've done the best we can to uh, to center the box and 
cut the the bottom of the box level so that it'll sit in there um, at right angles to the bottom as well. And we'll uh, we'll make sure to true it to the stem and stern. And you can see we're not going to have to do a lot. It's pretty much setting in there. Uh, true, which is what it should be doing. It shouldn't be setting in there canted. Um, so we'll true it to the stem and stern or just make sure it is when we're gluing it in. So yeah, next step is with this, uh, with this good fit. I'll clean up around the uh, cuts I made in the cleats and the frame with a little bit of sandpaper and whatnot. And then we'll uh, get the glue out and get this uh, beauty into the boat. Oh yeah, and one little uh, trick of the trade. Um, before, we, before we uh glue this baby into the boat. We'll make a general mark and come up come forward a little bit of that um, making a mark close to the ends of the uh, close to the ends of the box so what that'll let us do is uh, before we glue this in we can drill two holes, which will be quite close to the ends of the box on either uh, bow and stern. And uh, that'll make it a lot easier to find the box and, uh, and open up the slot when we've got the boat upside down and, uh, and we're cutting the slot. the hole I just made and the uh, mark I just made and we know that the uh, center board is going to be ah. <laughs> I actually drilled into the blocking that's under the boat So now we'll, uh, we shouldn't have any trouble finding the, uh, where the center board starts and ends when we go to cut the slot. Thanks for stopping by building the Alpha Dory. Yeah, um, and next video should be the exciting conclusion of the uh, center board box. So we'll be... Uh, We'll be gluing that in and uh, getting ready to install the seat risers. So anyway, until uh, until next time, yeah, great uh, great um, talking to everybody, and look forward to seeing you in the uh, comments section. Have a great day.